And now let us pray the ancient words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Keeping our hearts and minds open, let's pray to the Lord, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to bring peace to our world and peace in the Ukraine. We pray for all those who are searching for peace and for all those right now who are threatened by violence or warfare. We pray that people realise that we have more in common with our neighbours than we have differences. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to give grace to those of our church and all religions that may provide us with guidance and spirituality. We also pray especially this day for Bishop Ernest Fleming, our new bishop of the Diocese of the Northeast Caribbean in Aruba. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to look down on our troubled world and give direction and understanding to political leaders of all nations and all those who have influence among us. There is disagreement in our word, Lord. We ask you to lead people to choose reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today, Lord, for help for all those who are suffering from the effects of hurricanes, tornadoes, storms, earthquakes, floods, volcanoes, droughts or fires. And we pray that our planet's resources will be used both equitably and responsibly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to help ease the pain and distress of all those in our community and all those known to us who are ill or who are suffering and all those who care for them. And on this Mother's Day in North America, we pray for mothers everywhere. We also pray on this day for all those who have no one else to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to hold in your hands all those who have recently departed and those lost loved ones who have an anniversary or birthday at this time. In our own community, we pray particularly for Brooke LaCour, Trinette Wellesley Wesley and Tim Warburton. May their souls rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now take time to say in silence all the thoughts and prayers deep within our own hearts. For all these silent prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We are one body. By the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body and have been made to drink of the one spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And if you're watching online this morning with family members or friends close by, please take this opportunity to just reach out and offer them a sign of Christ's peace and love. <laughs> 